Meet the Applegates, the typical nuclear family in the typical nuclear town. Applegate, Jane, age 38, occupation homemaker. Applegate, Sally, born Baltimore, 1971, Scorpio. I enjoy swimming, chicken McNuggets, and gymnastics. Kiss on the second date. Applegate, Johnny, hobbies include science, baseball, and, uh... Heavy metal music. And heavy metal music. Study these statistics. They'll help us determine what's normal, even if we do find it repulsive. The Applegate. Greg Sampson. I'm in the single-family ranch house across the way. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Sampson. <laughs> Somebody's got a sweet tooth. Dick works at the nuclear power plant. It's not just a job. It's like religion or great sex. Jane does the cooking and shopping. Did someone say dessert? I happen to find a pile of rancid trash. Mm -hmm. Sally goes out with the boy next door. So I guess you play a lot of sports. I go in for all kinds of extracurricular activities. <laughs> and Johnny likes to play with Spark. <laughs> But there's something about the apple games. What you got there, Greg? Sonic bug repeller. It drives those little creatures bonkers. That's positively strange. Now, they don't suspect that you're different at all, do they? We've taken every precaution to suggest normalcy. Definitely weird. You homo sapien scum! Something terrible has happened. The Samson boy's been kidnapped. Some of your friends at school said they saw you with Vince the night he disappeared. That's a lie. Absolutely buggy. The neighbors are getting suspicious. The way I figure it, they brought a bunch of these bugs up here with them from Baltimore. The cops are moving in. It says here you're female. We you got a problem with that, pal? Now, maybe it's some kind of satanic thing. There goes the neighborhood. Whatever it is, they're evil. You look so virile. I like it. And we'll talk hormones later. But then the apple gates are only human, aren't they? What happened to Johnny? There's something really weird about that family. Meet the Applegates, a brand new species of comedy. What do you think about putting down that brochure and doing a little mating? You know it out in season. Help. Help me. Just came by to say hi, make sure that everything's up to snuff. And we're going to need a drug screen. Excuse me? It's a formality of the business. So do you want blood or urine? I think urine would be fine. And uh, we'll see you outside, okay? Have fun. Thanks. Hello, dear. Oh. Hi, Mama. Now, you see, she's exactly like me when I was her age. What I'm doing, I, I feel like I belong after film. I, I never stopped working. I know how to do very, that. very good therapy for me after my divorce and my miscarriages. Good times and dumb times, I've seen them all in my dear. Ever since I was about seven, I wanted to be you. Bart does you in his drag show. I am still here! How would you like to have Joan Crawford for a mother? Oh, or Lana please. Turner? These are the options. I think you that said, bell hop, my people blares guitar. Are you sure I didn't sleep with you? Sleep? Yeah. I was with him Saturday night. That's two girls in one day. Yeah, yeah, that's just the ones we know about. You said you loved me. I meant it at the time. Well, what is it, a viral love? Kind of a 24-hour thing? Never let him see you ache. That's what Mr. Mary used to say. What was it, ass? Never let him see your ass. You know, you were a lot more fun when you were loaded. No, no, no! Relax, they're blank. I don't get your generation's humor half the time. Remember my 17th birthday party when you lifted your skirt up in front of all those I people? I did not lift my guy skirt. Michael. It twirled up! And you weren't wearing any underwear. Well. Meryl Streep. Shirley MacLaine. In a Mike Nichols film. Oh, Lowell, I'm sorry. Postcards from the Edge. You'll be working with patients, people, doctor. When you say people, you mean living people? You do want the job, don't you? Hi. I'm Dr. Thayer. I'm Wahida. Wahida. I'd like to ask. I was born in 1911 in Kingsbridge, New York. Prior to July 1955, I resided at the Brooklyn Psychiatric Center, Brooklyn, New York. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> 
tired of that. I was a person. <laughs> it gets easier. You don't think it will, but it does. Can you hear me? Does he ever speak to you? Of course not. Not in words. No change in data 9-11-44. Your patients, doctor, haven't moved in decades. What I believe, what I know, is these people are alive inside. Well, how do you know that, doctor? I know it. I just wanted to say to you, I preferred your explanation. At 200 milligrams, he showed no response. Maybe he needs more. Maybe he needs less. It's there. It's a miracle. Put my glasses. Put on your face. I could deal with losing 30 years of my life, could you? Have you thought what you'd like to do today? Everything. Leonard, where are you going? I would do all the things that you people take for granted. I'd go for a walk. I'd look at things. I'd talk to people. You work here? No, I live here. You don't look like a patient. <laughs> I don't? Girls, you're not married. Me. Would you like to go out for a cup of coffee? Henry Winkler in the most dramatic role of his career and starring Carl Malden, Richard Kiley, Patty Duke, and Jennifer Hetrick. This family was unaware of the storm of controversy to come. My beautiful wife. Look how gorgeous you are. It came suddenly. Your wife has been in a very serious car accident. She's in a deep coma. We're going to treat Nancy as the primary patient who is incidentally pregnant. He was forced to choose which of two lives was more dear. I'm afraid I'll have to agree with the original prognosis. What about her pregnancy? Oh, I don't think the pregnancy can endanger her. Daddy, I want to see Mommy. My concern is for my wife and for the child we already have. I want Nancy to recover to become the mother of our child again. But outsiders fought the choice he made. We feel there's a... Uh... Only one question before the court, and that is the best interest of the patient, or as we would argue, the patients. It's not always a question of medical training, but of personal prejudice. It's a woman's constitutional right to beget and bear children and not have her judgment dismissed. He's a stranger. This man is a stranger. These men are strangers. They're absolute strangers. They don't know my wife. They don't know me. They don't know my baby. Nancy's your wife. She's our daughter. Who else should be the guardian, huh? Who else? Do you know that I'm with you? An all-star cast in a powerful true story. Absolute Strangers. Okay, we're open. The McDermott Brothers. We're giants. Legends in our own mind. A rebel. You don't touch my brother! Harassing innocent people? I am shocked. A rowdy. What are you doing? <laughs> a Romeo. I'll show you mine, you show me yours. Life sure has thrown them. Go! A lot of curves. <laughs> I'm only 17. The sexual demands of this job are too much. <laughs> Please. Chickens. They're rats with a good reputation. I hate him. But now is the time for three boys yeah! <laughs> to become men. I sold the business. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. Well, what about us? I think you took that well. To take chances. Live in your own world, Dad. I don't have time to waste. To make choices. I'm going to be a bum. Sleep in doorways. Buy a half pint. Drink from a paper bag. Don't worry, Dad. I'll make you proud. Whoa! 
Why don't you grow up? Stop it, somebody's gonna get hit. Last food I will ever make you. So eat it! And to face the world. Dad! The only way they know how. He's dead. What should we do? Take away. No! <laughs> Together. The modern woman always has her lovers at her wedding. Can we talk about this later, maybe? Ward, I'm a little worried about the beaver. You know, I've been thinking about that problem of yours. Well, I've decided to help you with it. I'm gonna be a man. <laughs> you again! Can I borrow your wife for a moment? Take her. Thank you, I already did. This is Lee Grant's tough and tender comedy. Oh, you emotional family. Staying together. What a night! The only thing crazier than love is brothers. I'll drink to that. Whenever you rent or buy a video, you need to be sure that the film you choose is suitable for the audience at home. To help you, there are certificates given to films which tell you broadly what the film is like. This film has been classified 15, which means it's unsuitable for anyone younger than that. It's an offence for a shop to supply a 15 video to anyone below that age, so don't ask them to break the law. 15 films may have a fairly adult theme or contain scenes of sex, violence or drugs, which, while not particularly graphic, are unsuitable for younger teenagers. They may also contain sexual swear words. Video certificates are there to give you the chance to make an informed choice. They allow you to have peace of mind and be entertained. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the film. Get a video out and you're in for a good time.